Hey, what is up everyone? Back again and in today's video we are out here at the rail yard bike park in Rogers, Arkansas. Got here a little bit early. Um, whole place to ourselves as of right now. Got a little different type of video that I'm going to be working on today and that is comparing some of the different um, settings on the GoPro. Mainly um, the super view versus horizontal and linear leveling. Um, that is most likely what this video is going to be about. I'm going to get some runs on some different laps, do multiple views of each, and see how you guys like that. So, going to get the bike unloaded and start the sesh. So, see you guys in a sec. Alright, so one of the main reasons that I am doing this video is because I came to the rail yard for my first time um, about four or five days ago, and I used the horizontal leveling the whole time. Um, I liked it, but I don't think it's a setting for me in mountain biking. Um, so just gonna do a few different runs with each settings and show you guys the difference, compare them and see what you guys think. So let's get to riding. Okay, so I'm gonna start out in the setting that I use the most and that is Super View in 4K30. I think we need a little warm up. Just hit this little beginner line. Yeah, that's going today. Oh, that was slick. Whew. Don't do wall rides. That hurt my elbow and that hurt. Oh, God dang. Don't know why I didn't think of that one. All right, so we're gonna head up to the blue little slope style line, hit that, and then go back over to the little free ride track, hit that, and I might just do those two and do a comparison on those for now, come back and just, my head's not really in it right now. Um, like I said, my phone is completely boned. That is trying to turn it on. So yeah, that stinks, but like I said, gonna make the most of it, so try to get some footage. Just bummed that I have to go buy a new phone now, but love and you learn. Just learn never to keep my phone in my front pocket. Along with that, rip my favorite North Face jeans, so, or shorts, so that sucks. But, like I said, gonna make the most of it, go ride a little bit more, and yeah, see what kind of footage we come up with. All right, first comparison lap we're gonna do on the intermediate slope style course. All right, just gonna roll this, try to hit everything. Good. Way overshot that jump. That last little step up thing, so fun. You just kind of glide over it. Okay, linear and horizontal, 4K30. Let's get it. session part super view 4k 30 and then I can try the slope saw course one more time then I'm gonna change it to horizontal and see how that goes see you on a sec linear and horizontal 4k 30 
Uh, so as you can see, we have shifted scenery a little bit. It is the next day and we are out here at Gregory Park. Uh, I decided to take the video a little bit different route than what I had intended. I intended to shoot it all at the rail yard, but I wanted to come out to some actual trails and like I said, came out here to Gregory, I'm gonna get some laps on these trails and do some comparisons on those. So I will see y'all on the trails. So I will get a video of the little pump track down there and do a comparison on that. Um, but I have learned my lesson about riding plastic stuff while it is still morning and some mildew out. And he's gonna go to the top, see y'all in a sec. So I think what we're gonna do is get two warm up laps on morning light do one in super view one in linear plus horizontal first one's going to be in super view so let's get it rolling thunder let's get it going that too fast so it's a little slick all right let's go up and run that thing back all right linear plus horizontal leveling morning light let's get it I can see myself eating shit on that last turn. Back to the top. Gonna get some runs on tailwind now. Oh, I got a major slowdown for that. Not comfortable with enough with all rides to do that one. Oh. Tailwind, let's get it. That berm is not my favorite. Away on that manual, but 
So we are back in the car and heading home and <clears throat> I think I'm honestly gonna like the way this video has turned out um, or the way that it does turn out a little bummed yesterday because as you guys will see earlier in this video I royally cucked my phone like no turning back from it but did get a little upgrade got ye iPhone 12 half off so when I was at home last night I was gonna go back to the rail yard this morning and I thought of doing a concrete trail dirt trail like I wanted to show both perspectives and how um, each view worked with both types of terrain um, in riding. The two very different styles, so might like one better for one, the other better for the other. After watching this and stuff and doing all my editing, I'll see how it goes and give you guys my opinion at the very end. So, gonna make some edits and I will see you guys in a bit to give you my opinion on what I like and what I think is the best for me. So, see you in a bit. Alrighty, we are all finished up with editing besides this little part right here, and I think I've reached my final verdict, and that is that Superview is the way to go for me, at least with mountain biking videos. I like it for uh, multiple different reasons, and the first thing is that it's just, of course, it's a lot wider um, camera angle, so you just capture a lot more in the picture. When you're using linear and horizontal leveling, at least what I've seen is, so bikes here, camera here again, you go to turn, the camera almost stays straight until you start making it around the turn and it kind of levels it out and stuff. And then once you finish the turn and start going back straight, then the camera kind of levels out and gets back in front of you. But going around the turns and stuff, around berms, whatnot, it um, it just kind of cuts it off and you don't get the full turn. Whereas Superview, you kind of lean into it with it, shows you leaning, shows you turning, and follows through the whole turn. And I like that about it. Not much to go off here. I mean, just a few little things that I saw, but... That is my overall, I guess, thoughts on it, and I don't really think I'll be using linear and horizontal leveling for mountain biking much. Gonna stick to the super view. I love that viewpoint, love how it's been doing. That's what I've used in all my videos prior, so that is probably what I'm gonna stick with, at least for now. Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a great rest of the day. Till next time, peace. Right, let's see if we can get a run like this. Haven't ever really done any footage like this, so. See how it goes. Gonna try one more angle real quick of the 